You and I have a business where we have sent people out to different locations and they've complained about parking fees and tolls and everything else. And we've agreed to pay a stipend based on the location and help defray some of those costs when they go to these locations. We need to figure out how much to pay each person. First of all, Amelia works 7 hours at Harbor Center, $40 per hour, so we need to multiply the hours time the rate and then add on the $25 for Harbor Center. So in column E, we want to create the formula for the entire column to calculate each row's pay and then use a pivot table to calculate how much each person should get. Let's dive in and get these people paid. I'm going to insert 3 more columns to make some room. First of all, let's just type pay in cell E1 and now click on cell E2. We're going to multiply the rate times the hours, so I'm going to type equal D2 multiplied by B2. Right? And I'm going to put this whole thing into a table. Format as table from the home tab. Let's go with this blue. Cool. The range of data is from A1 to G22. And make sure that the box my table has headers is checked. Press OK. Highlight that E2 cell and double click. Good. So now that's the pay. Now let's get the stipend. Type stipend inside F1. Click an F2 cell and start typing equals VLOOKUP. Because we need to look at Harbor Center in this table and go to the other table to pull over the 25, going to look up location, so click C2, comma. Where are we going to want to look for Harbor Center? We want to look for it on this other table. So I'm going to highlight that, I2 to J5, both in absolute parentheses. OK, comma. And now we want the second column. So type 2, comma, and we want an exact match. False. Close parentheses, enter. Beautiful. So now we have the correct stipends. Now we can add the pay and the stipend. Type final pay into G1. All right, cursor on G2 equals pay plus the stipend. Enter. Very cool. So now we see Amelia needs to be paid these values. So we're going to handle that inside the pivot table. Insert tab, pivot table. Yes. Let's put it on the new worksheet. Okay. We want employee names in rows. Final pay in values. Let's make these dollars. Home dollars. This is exactly what we need to pay, and we can send this on to payroll. If you enjoyed the video so far, and if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. This is really important for me. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm.